This one? Okay, so they're the same recipe, but one has all local ingredients and the other one is all store-bought ingredients. Local ingredients? What's a local ingredient? All <laughs> from the farmer's market at Union Square. This is fresh? Yeah, from today. And this is Hi, I'm Merle, and today we're going to be doing a locally sourced versus store-bought apple pie challenge. So originally, I was just going to buy a pre-made store-bought apple pie, but then I looked at the ingredients on the box and like, I don't even know what a lot of these are, to be honest with you. We've got corn syrup, palm and or soybean oil, maltodextrin, what the hell is dextrin? Sodium propionite. I don't know what this stuff is, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to have one recipe that's gonna be exactly the same. The only difference is gonna be that in one pie, almost all of the ingredients will be locally sourced, and in the other pie, all of them will be store-bought. And then at the end, we're gonna have a few people taste test to see if they can taste the difference between locally sourced and store-bought. All right, let's get cooking. First thing we're gonna do is add the flour and the salt into a, like a medium-sized bowl and just mix it with a fork until it's nicely combined. So the great thing about this farm that I bought this flour from is that they focus heavily on sustainability. So by buying their product, I'm directly supporting that cause. Then I'm gonna add in the cubed butter and just try to break it up really nicely with the fork. You want the lumps to be like the size of small peas. The butter we have today is from a dairy farm in Pennsylvania. You might be noticing that the color is a little more yellow than some of the sticks you see in the store. The reason for that is because of what the cow eats. Pasture-raised cows are given a lot of fresh grass, which contributes to this really pretty color. Then gradually you want to add in the ice water while you're mixing the dough. Eventually the dough is going to come together. You may not need all the water, but if the dough is too dry, then you can add more. You just want to make sure the dough isn't very sticky or tacky. So now I'm just gonna work the dough together nicely until I can get it into a smooth ball and then I'm gonna cover it with cling wrap and refrigerate it. For both recipes, we're gonna be using Granny Smith apples. These are kind of like the apple of apple pies. The thing that you can notice right away between the store-bought and the locally sourced is the way they look. The store-bought one is a bit shinier and the reason for that is because most store-bought apples actually have a wax coating on them. This is to help them last longer. Your average store-bought apple could be anywhere from five months to even a year old. That doesn't necessarily affect the taste, but I guess we will be the judge of that in a little while. With the locally sourced one, you'll notice they're not entirely green. The reason for this is because, well, we're in the Northeast, so the colder temperatures give them like a little red blush, which is, I think, kind of adorable. You're probably wondering, why should I care? The store-bought apple has traveled 2,500 miles from Washington State to New York State. That requires a lot of energy, fuel, and extra time, and of course, the apple's not gonna be as fresh. Meanwhile, the locally sourced apple has come just under 100 miles from upstate New York. Okay, next we're gonna peel the apples, then core and slice them. In a bowl, you're gonna toss together the apples with some sugar, flour, salt, nutmeg, cinnamon, and a little bit of lemon juice. We did our best to make sure all of our ingredients were local, but with things like cinnamon, sugar, and salt, it's not always possible depending on where you live. All right, so you're gonna mix those up until they're evenly combined and refrigerate those as well. Preheat your oven to around 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut your pie dough in half and roll out both halves until they're both round and about 1 8 of an inch thick. An easy way to move your dough is to roll it right up onto your rolling pin and then unroll it onto your pie dish. Then you're gonna pour in your apple filling and pat it down so it's even. Then just roll the other half of the dough on top and trim the extra dough from the edges. Pinch the edges to create a nice little crimp effect and make sure that all the edges are sealed together. Cut four slits into the top of the pie to create a nice little vent for while it's baking. Now you just wanna brush your pie with the egg wash even for the egg wash on this pie, we got locally sourced eggs. These chickens were pasture raised, which means they get to eat grass and bugs and run around and be happy, and therefore they produce more nutritional and colorful eggs. Now you just wanna sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. Bake your pie for 50 to 60 minutes. You'll know it's ready when the crust is nice and golden brown. So we've got our store-bought version and we have our locally sourced version. They're both looking very beautiful. So I'm just gonna cut these up and then we're gonna get some taste testers in here to see what they think. I just gotta say, this crust looks unbelievable. It looks really, really delicious. So my prediction is this. I'm, I, I think that possibly 
the store-bought one might taste a bit more familiar to people, um, so I'm not sure. I hope they like the locally sourced one, but we're gonna have to just find out. It has a weird consistency. It's a lot. It's 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 like it's sweet, but it's good, but it's it's very. There's a lot of stuff inside. Too sweet for me. I need a glass of milk. <laughs> it's more of like a. It's like a pudding. It's like a pudding pie. I mean, I'll have to try the second one before I can <laughs> give you any serious opinions. I hate this pie. I like this one. The crust is perfect. The apples are really like tight. Those are just some tight apples. This one I can already tell. Like it looks more flaky. It's like crunchy and it's not as sweet. The apples are still crunchy. Yeah. Which is actually kind of nice. It's a crunchy. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Wait. I'm so happy. Okay, so if you had to pick, which one do you like better? I absolutely like this pie better. Okay, this was the locally sourced one. So you like did good for the world by liking that pie. Nice. This crust for me is like the bomb. And I would probably guess that this is the one that's made with locally sourced ingredients. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. This one just feels amazing the whole time, so. Awesome, that one's the all locally sourced ingredients one. Can you teach me how to make it? Because then I want to go and shop at a store because all I can do is this for now. Wow. Okay, I genuinely thought that a lot of people were going to pick the store-bought slice. I was a little bit worried, I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm really happy to see that they could actually taste the difference in the crust because of that butter. And I think it just goes to show that when you do invest a little bit in local ingredients, you're not only supporting a great cause, you're also providing yourself with that extra taste and like that extra kick that you can give to any dish. Yo, I actually, I didn't know that like local food was a thing and I, it, it tastes a lot better, so. 